bada bing, bada bong. Okay, we've got to our final week 13 here on the National Hunt. And race one today is over at Haydock. It's a long distance handicap hurdle. So we're going to wait for the runners to appear. It's over three miles to 0 to 160. Consequence of stars of Joshua Southern as a top weight and favourite. Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes. Benny Opera for Molly at Surfer. Fallout Lad for David Robertson. The Aristocrat. For Kevin Meanhan, Espana Senorita for Darren Thompson, Opera Love for Molly at Surfer, Tomorrow's World for Daniel French, Falun Gong for Darren Thompson, Quack for Kevin Meanhan, Wonderful Young Life for Graham Clutterbuck, Buzzer Time for Daniel French, and Grainy Amour and Four Richer for Darren Howes. 14. Start has gone underway. And we're going to start on uh, the turn here at Haydock. A couple that have uh, started seven or eight wide. Got themselves a little bit short of uh, Spanish Senorita being the worst of those. But up front, it's buzzer time that's going to lead us into the first of 10 flights. He's over the first, as is the remainder. It's buzzer time, the grey that leads us by about three to four to Wonderful in Young Life. And the inside of that is Benny Opera. Against the fence, we've got Consequence of Stars. Just on the outside of that is Opera Love. Wider of that still is Villa de la Plata, the green silks of the aristocrat. They've been followed through by four richer and fallout lad. They get to the second. They will skip over that. And just behind fallout lad is Opera, oh no, sorry, not Opera Love. He's fallen back a little bit now. So Falun Gong, Espana Senorita, tomorrow's world, the grey against the fence. Widest, I think, is Espana Senorita and Falun Gong, similar silks. Not similar, they're exactly the same silks. And then just the two at the rear at the moment are Quack and Grainy Amour. But up front, it's still buzzer time that leads us into the third. Everybody happily gets over that. No dangers. And just the uh, chasing pack just being led by now by the aristocrat out wide. The inside of that is four opera, and then we got Benny, four opera, four richer, and then Benny Opera and Villa de la Plata. Between those is wonderful and young life. The favourite consequence of stars is against the fence. And we've got uh, Opera Love again, who's popped up everywhere. Hispania Senorita Falun Gong. We get to the fourth. Everybody's over there as well. And just towards the rear is Fallout Lad, Tomorrow's World, and Grainy Amour. Okay, we're riding on board now with the jockey cam of Villa de la Plata. Fourth place at the moment. And moving to four richer, it appears, of uh, Darren House. No, nope. thought we might move. Oh, no, we've moved to four richer, as I thought. Darren House's horse being pushed along a little bit here. As they approach the seventh. Sorry, the fifth, should I say. It's buzzer time that's going to lead us over it. Very close to the row there. And it's buzzer time that still leads us as we approach the stands. And he's still got a five length advantage. Over wonderful in Young Life, who's in second. A view from uh, the big TV screen. And that's the sort of seat you don't want at uh, a concert where well, you're going to pay a lot less to be behind the pillar. <laughs> Let's take come past us here. It's still buzzer time. Although his lead's now been shortened by just about two lengths to Wonderful and Young Life and Benny Opera on the outside is the Aristocrat. So Villa de la Plata's there. As well as the Spanish Senoritas made up some good ground, Consequence of Stars. The outside of that is Fallout Land and Opera Love. Falun Gong against the fence. And you've got just on the outside of that is Fall Richer. The two wide here are Quack and Fallout Lad. And then the other grey, Tomorrow's World. And one that's getting uh, a little bit tailed off. And we're losing Tomorrow's World now. There he goes. And he's off. And then just at the rear now is Grainy Amour. They get to the six. Everybody takes it, including I think Grainy Amour towards the rear, but it's still being led by Buzzer Time. Been there since the beginning. Got well over a mile to travel. Still another four, four hurdles to take. So it's Buzzer Time from Benny. Oh, and we're losing another here. Quack's going. Would have stood a chance uh, for Kevin Meanhan on those weights. But uh, one last week. Can't win another. They're over the seventh. And there's Grainy Amour as well. So still buzzer time, but only a length advantage now over Benny Opera, Villa de la Plata and the Aristocrat. And we've got Falun Gong, Opera Love, Consequence of Stars, and the inside is Wonderful in Young Life. They're just a length ahead of the full Ritter, Espana, Senorita and Grainy Amor. So approach the next. 
it's going to be three from home. They're all over it. And the lead's changed slightly now as Villa de la Plata just noses in front with Benny Opera. Buzz of time just taking a little bit of a rest here. On the outside of uh, Benny Opera is Opera Love and Molly at Surfers Challenge 2. And they're about a length or so ahead of the aristocrat. Wonderful in Young Life being pushed along. Consequence of stars as well. Fallout Lad, Fallon Gong, Four Richer and Span Hispanic Senorita are all being pushed along now. But up front, Buzzer Time is just nosed as he go to the penultimate. Gets over it well, but it's Buzzer Time, Opera Love and Benny Opera. It's these three. Moving out on the wide outside now is Fallout Lad and having a good run with four furlongs still left to travel. It's Fallout Lad. We're riding on board Fallout Lad now as he approaches us. Buzzer Time on his outside. And uh, this is actually... Uh, I'm not sure who we're riding on here. Very confused. It's the grey buzzer time. My apologies. But as you can see, Fallout Lad and Opera Love are pulling ahead. And now we're on Ball, Ball Roads' is Villa de la Plata. We're coming to the final one. It's Opera Love and Fallout Lad that lead. They're going to get over it well. They do. Villa de la Plata is trying to make up the ground, but it's not going to. But the two in front now are Opera Love and Fallout Lad as we watch, watch from the stands. And it's Opera Love that just knows in front with a furlong and a half left to run. It's Opera Love from Fallout Lad. They're about three to four ahead of Consequence of Stars and Villa de la Plata not going to win from there, but it's Opera Love inside the final furlong, starting to pull away now from Fallout Lad, it's between these two, it's Opera Love, Fallout Lad, Consequence of Stars trying to run on, but they're not going to catch this Opera Love, I don't think, it's Opera Love that takes it from Fallout Lad in second, Consequence of Stars run on for third. So good start to the week for Molly at Surfer, takes the long distance handicap hurdle here at Newbury, race one of the final week, goes to Opera Love, second was Fallout Lad, Third was Consequence of Stars. I think fourth there was Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was the Aristocrat for Kevin Meenahan.